Hey guys, this is Logan with Goo Gaming. And this this weekend, we we had a double boss tournament here at Locals today, and I played Dragon Link once again. I'm not gonna do a deck profile because it's almost the same exact list. The only change is I played uh, Union Carrier in my side deck, so I could search out Lancia against the Dinosaur matchup, and then bounce it with Sphere, so I had Lancia against Dino going second because your board's not that good against Dino, which I found out. So that's the only change to the deck really, uh, is in the side deck with the Union Carrier. But I'm gonna do a combo video and we're just gonna, I'm just gonna shuffle the deck up and he's gonna, or I'm just gonna cut and we're gonna do five test hands. And I'm basically gonna go through my mindset of how I would combo. Cause every, every combo is different. It's not just one set combo. So go ahead and give it a cut, I guess. All right, we're just gonna do five cards. Uh, so we got upstart. All right, so this hand's pretty good. Um, obviously, you have two extenders. Um, so it all depends on like what you're wanting to play around is how you go about this hand. Uh, if you want to play around Droll and Lockbird, I probably would not upstart Goblin first, but we're just going to assume people aren't main decking uh, uh, Droll and Lockbird, so we're going to upstart and see what's next. So your quick launch. Okay. So obviously, starting out, we're going to normal summon Black Metal Dragon. Here, let me... Can you still see this? Yeah. So, normal summon black metal dragon. Link off. Uh, striker dragon. Chain link one striker dragon, chain link two black metal. That's just to play around gamma. Um, if you really just don't need, if you don't think they have gamma and you really just do not need the boot, you can you can switch it up if you really need the red eyes. Um, just whatever you want to play around is how you play. You can play around different hand traps and choose your chain links accordingly. So search the boot off of the striker dragon and then search the red eyes off of the black metal. Okay. So obviously this hand's very powerful. Um, I'm gonna try to combo without one ofs because like one ofs really, um, obviously this card's like insane in this deck. It searches Brotar, it searches Ness. It's just like the be one of the best extenders if it resolves. So just because you don't really draw these cards very often, I'm just not gonna combo with one for one just to show that like, most of the hands you're not going to draw one for one you're going to draw black metal more that's why i'm choosing to do that so we're just going to ignore the one for one and just say it's a black card so we're going to banish the striker dragon to summon the red eyes and we're going to use red eyes effect to special summon black metal all right now we're going to link link two into uh romulus and then here's really cool because since we use black metal we can actually chain block the romulus again because Black Metal is not once per turn, and we do play the Red Eyes package. So we can go Chain Link 1 Romulus, Chain Link 2 Black Metal, add the Red Eyes, and then if you don't have access to Tracer and you have enough extenders, you can uh, search Dragon Ravine or if you draw Lance, but most of the time you just draw, you search Lance because usually you can get to Tracer in other ways. So uh, activate Lance, Lance Effect, get the Phalanx from the deck. Uh, and then we are going to use Phalanx to special. And then you just need any extender. It can literally be anything. I'm just going to activate quick launch and use it this way. Any way to get another dragon on board, it literally just does not matter. All right. So once you do that, see if you do the um, if you have chaos space, most of the time it's this, this plays a lot easier. So if you're wanting to play out in Nibiru. Since you have the extender with Tracer or Quick Launch, you can make uh, Apollo here, which is probably what you do most of the time because I guess Drytron, they really struggle with uh, Apollo and a lot of the decks really, really struggle with Apollo. So to, to play around the most things, most of the time you just make Apollo here, but also you can do the play with Seal. Um, <clears throat> I'm, gonna I'm gonna make the play where you end with Seal, but it's the same play, but basically you just make Apollo here and then some of your uh, monster and they start doing dragon uh dragon dragon combos here so let's just assume we're not playing around that and just say we're not playing around anything uh here so we're gonna say most of these you go like this all right so now uh we use lp's effect um see you can do it uh the way where you have striker dragon but that actually requires a an additional extender um, to be able to do that and uh, yeah this is probably just the safest way because if they uh, oh like the only thing this doesn't play around is ogre but like not a lot of people playing ogre right now so I think it's fine so LB effects special from deck 
Here, it just depends on like what you need. If you need more monsters, you can go grab Safer. If you uh, want to rip a card out of their hand, you can go with Brotar. Um, it all just depends. You have to, like, every hand's different, right? Like, sometimes if, if like, you got Hand Trap or your Romulus or whatever, you need more monsters to continue comboing. So you, you would obviously try to get black and white to get more monsters. So we're going to do that here. Um, but you can also throw in, uh, if you have all the extenders, you can just go Lebionir, rip a card out of their hand, and uh, have Brotar and Great. So we're going to get safer here. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going to do Brotar. I said we're going to do the black and white thing, but I think this is probably actually just the simplest. So we're gonna use Brotar's effect targeting himself. Discard, like I said, this is gonna be the random card. Targeting himself. <coughs> Add Levy in here. Uh, so now, we're gonna turn these two. And two seal. And then we're gonna use Pissy's effect. To get any monster, really. Um, it, it, it honestly doesn't matter. If you had to use Tracer, you would get Tracer here. Um, but, like, we already have Tracer in hand. We haven't used Tracer yet. So, like, if you had Tracer in grave, you'd obviously do that. So, we probably should have summoned Tracer off Quick Launch, but uh, it's fine either way, I think. So, let's go ahead and go into Dill. I'm, I'm going to make this Tracer really fast because I want to show an interaction that's actually just, like, super important because this is the combo that actually matters in. I'm kind of just doing this on the fly, like I said, guys, so sorry. Um, but, like, a lot of the combos change, like, depending on your hand, so. Um, so we're going to re re rewind. Instead of going recharger, you're going to go into Tracer, so. We're going to use uh, Tracer's effect here to target Dill to destroy him. You're supposed to summon a rocket from our deck. <laughs> so we're going to summon the recharger. And then since Recharger Special Summon, Dill will actually summon himself from Graveyard because it destroys it and then Special Summon. So it's basically you just summon this monster from your deck for free. You're locked into darks, but that doesn't matter. So we're going to synchro here. For Savage, uh, equip whatever is the biggest, uh, which would be Romulus in this case. So he has two counters. Um, so now you can summon Levy in here. Banishing all darks. Uh, I usually leave Pisty in Grave because you can like bring it back from Recharger and stuff. So banish whatever darks you think are necessary. Actually, uh, you probably do it like this. Something like that. You may not banish Red MD, but it's fine. So you leave a card out of their hand. And then you uh, go into this. So let's get banished to go into Credit Plant. And in Credit Plant effect, you lose your 2,000 lock points. Send. Oh, and we searched the box. For the Dragoon. So, basically with this combo that we did, we, we still have two extenders in our hand. That's super important. So you have to realize that, like, if we would have got hand trapped, we would have still had two extenders to try to push through and make a similar board to this. We also could have done the same board, have the same amount of cards in hand, uh, and made Apollo. So, um, I think we actually made a monster card, but regardless, um, as you can see, this is usually the inboard, this or this. These are the two combos you do the most. Um, so yeah, that's this hand. Let's go ahead and do another hand real quick. So now that I ran through the combo, I'm gonna do it really fast just to show how like, um, how fast this deck can actually just do the combos. Cause the combos, like now that I've explained it, mo it pretty much everything just like, uh, is like the same. Like it, it's just the same thing over and over again. It's just different ways to get to it. So we're gonna cut the deck real quick. We're gonna cut the deck. All right, so five well, this isn't a good hand, obviously. Um, but I think we can make it, we, we, we can manage. So we are going to normal summon Tracer, or Safer, actually Safer's effect. So if they stop Safer here, um, it's actually fine um, because uh, we will do, like, for example, if we went like, like let's say we sent Tracer, right? And we're gonna add, uh, Safer and we add Tracer. 
And if they, even if they had ashed this, it would have been the same thing. Because if they had ashed it, like let's say we didn't have this, we activate Chaos Space, discard this. I know it's weird, right? They, you're, you're discarding this, but you're going to search it black. And then you're like, well, you don't have white to search, but you're actually going to banish it and then Chaos Space shuffle it back. So draw a card. And then now. So that's what you would do in that scenario if they um, if they would have ashed that. But it's the same thing. Let's say let's say they did ash it. You know what? They, we play we play through hand traps. So let's say they ash that. Uh, so add this off this and then this. You probably do here. You probably do uh, chain link one, chain link two again to play around gamma. Um, it's probably the best thing to play around uh, right now. So let's add white. <clears throat> no effects. Romulus effect. We already did the lance, so we're obviously going to add the ravine. Activate lance. Lance effect. Effect special summon. It's kind of hard to do this upside down. I do apologize. So when you get to here, let's say they Nibiru you here. Um, if they Nibiru you here, you're fine. You still have the tracer. Uh, but again, like I said, if you want to go back to this point, because this is the same point as the last combo, we're going we're gonna to do the uh, whole, like, what if they, uh, what if you make Apollo here, right? try to play around nib because you think they have nib or whatever so you make apollo activate and discard this is a little sketchier um i don't know if i would actually do this play with this specific hand but i'm just showing you guys that you still like even with very few cards you can still do the full combo even though like um you have very few resources so this is Apollo for three. Uh, activate and then Pendulum Summon. Or Pendulum Summon, I'm so sorry. Uh, boot Sector, someone said Pendulum. Now Link Summon. Or LP, LP Effect. Uh, here. You have to think, like I said, we have very few cards, so you have to really consider what you're like, what, cause you're low on like a lot of things, right? Like. You've already used Red MD, you know, you've, you've got to get more monsters on field, so it'd be very, like, diligent of what you're using. See, I'm having to think here because we're, we're, uh, we're uh, delegated and tried to go for the, uh, the play with Apollo. I've actually messed up, and just because I'm trying to go for Apollo, you know, for example, it may not be the best play. Now that I don't have cards in my hand, I have to figure out because I don't have a card to discard for Brotard to actually access Levianir. And Levianir is really important because I was going to Levianir a card out of their hand and then add it back to discard for Dragoon. So this is a perfect example that like me rambling on and trying to do a combo video, like if you if you try to delegate and play around things that maybe you can't play around. Like I couldn't afford to play around Nibiru in this hand after getting Ash. So maybe I shouldn't have played around Nibiru and maybe I should have just been like, if they have Nibiru, that sucks, but I'm gonna play around things that I can play through and still full combo because this is obviously not full combo if I go into Apollo here. Like I said, I don't know, I didn't know this before going into this, but if we rewind real quick and we go back to the point where you have this and the two monsters. So this is your hand and this is your board. Sorry, I'm making this a little complicated guys, but this is on the fly. And then you had your two monsters on the field. What were they? They were white and failing. So if you go back to this point, like I said, uh, I was going to go into Apollo here. And um, going into Apollo just isn't the right play because I just, I don't have enough monsters to uh, be able to full combo. So you have to just start going for the guard dragon combo here. And you have to like realize that, uh, like if, if I was in a tournament, I would count like, like count ahead of how many monsters I actually have because you need a certain amount of monsters to be able to go into it and a card to discard to get another monster. So 
So we're going to use Elfie's effect. Like I said, <clears throat> every hand is different. Um, you know, some hands you just, you can't, you can't always do the, the uh, play around everything. So we're going to use Rotor's effect, discard the tracer, add the Levineer. And then we're going to turn these two. It's the same combo, like I said before. So we're going to use Pisty. Bring back Tracer. Same exact combo, guys. Bring back Dill. Tracer effect pop Dill. Dill effect, bring it back. Put number two. Banish three darks. It doesn't really matter what they are. I'll leave Kisty in grave personally. Uh, so I'll probably do something like this. You have a, you have a chaos space in grave, so it's fine to banish Kisty here. You load the card out of their hand, and then you make the credit player. And then you, you send the card from the grave and you have to go. And then also, if like you want to keep boot, you still have Saber's Effect and Grave to add back the Levy in here. So even though um, I couldn't play through Nibiru with his hand, I still could end with full combo. I just couldn't play around Nibiru. Um, like I said, not every hand can play around Nibiru. You know, this deck isn't the same deck that played Link Ross and, um, you know, uh, could just make Harold before they would Nibiru you and it would be relevant. But what you could have done was, if they would have Nibiru you when you had the four monsters, you could have, I, I would have had to go back and rethink about this, but I'm like, I'm not gonna go this far back. I shouldn't have done it before probably, but uh, you could probably end on like a board of like Seal, Dragoon, or just Dragoon. Like Dragoon's really powerful as well, or uh, even just Savage by himself against some of these slower decks are just good enough. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to end the video there. If you guys have any more questions or interactions that you want to maybe just pick my brain about, go ahead and just comment in the comment section below. I'm sorry this is a little bit um, unorganized, but like I said, this is just, you know, here at Locals after the tournament, and it's just just straight off the dome, you know what I mean? It's just straight out there. But make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Sorry I'm rambling on, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace.